Hi there! Welcome to your first lesson of this week. Today, I'll introduce to you what is a computer. And by the end of this lesson, you must be able to first, define what a computer literacy is. Second, define what a computer is. Third, differentiate data and information. And fourth, Describe the information processing cycle. Now let's begin the lesson. There are computers everywhere, at work, in school, and at home. Mobile devices like your mobile phone or a smartphone are often classified as computers. These computers are the main means of contact locally and internationally for billions of people like you and myself. Even society has instant access to information from around the globe through the use of computers, such as local and national news, weather reports, countless forms of educational material, and much more. In the workplace, employees use computers to create correspondence such as emails, letters, and memos. In school, teachers use computers to help with teaching in the classroom. However, it doesn't always like that, since giving of instructions or lessons can also be done through online classes. And a very good example to that is right now, you as a student, instead of attending class on campus, you are attending it directly from your computer. But how does the use of computer affects our works? In today's modern and changing world, computer literacy is considered a very important skill to possess and a vital to success. But what is computer literacy? Computer literacy, also known as digital literacy, is having a current knowledge and understanding of computers and their uses because the requirements that determine computer literacy change as technology changes, we must keep up with these changes to remain computer literate. Let me ask you this. Do you have any idea what is computer? Computer is an electronic device operating under the control of instructions stored in its own memory that can accept data, process the data according to specified rules, produce results, and store the results for future use. But how computer processes data into information? Or is data and information the same? Well, it is not. Data is a collection of unprocessed items such as letters, numbers, symbols, images, audio, and video. While information conveys meaning and is useful to people, or to make it short, information is processed data. Let me show you an example on how a computer processes data into information. Now you have this data. The items ordered. Loaf bread, star margarine, Sprite, then the price and quantity of each product, and the amount received, which is 500 pesos. The computer then processes the data by multiplying the price and quantity of each item to compute each item's total price, then organizes the data by adding all the item's total prices and calculates the change by simply subtracting the amount received, which is 500, by the total amount to be paid, which is 278 pesos and 75 cents. With the data being processed, the computer produces the needed information, which is the cash register receipt. But how is this possible? How computer processes data that resulted to information? I mentioned earlier that computers carry out processes using instructions. These instructions are the steps 
that tell the computer how to perform a task. And this is called software. Software is a collection of related instructions or simply a program that enables a computer to perform a specific task. In the previous example, it uses point-of-sale program and told the computer to process the item as input data, which is resulted to information called cash register receipt. In the context of computers and data processing, the information processing cycle has four stages. Take note, four stages. Input, process, output, and storage. This is simply called IPUS model. Each of these stages plays an important role in the collection, analysis, and distribution actions performed by a computer system. How is this model works? Let's take a look back to the model. Before it can be translated into either stored data or information output, the data must enter into the system. The general view of the input stage is that some sort of input device is used to enter data into the system, such as keyboard, microphone, or perhaps even the movement of eyes or another body part, and a lot more. Once data enters the IPUS model, it is processed into either stored data or information. The processing agent is typically some sort or form of software with a specific action taken on a particular type of data. The primary aim of the processing stage is to transform the raw input data into a form that can be processed for later use or for further processing or analysis to provide information output. Now, in the IPUS output processing stage, it sends information to a computer screen a printer, a plotter, or a speaker, or some other device that can be perceived by human senses. To most people, output means either a computer screen display, a written document or image, or may also mean coding. Now here comes the storage stage of IPOS model. This stage can occur directly from or to the processing or the output stages because the processing stage may need to store data for later use or recall previously stored data for processing new data from the input stage. The output stage also may store processed data as information for display by another IPUS module we needed. The storage stage does not only store data or information on a fixed storage medium such as a hard disk, but can also store data and information on removable media such as flash drive, CD-ROM, or DVD. As you can see, these stages are interlinked at every step of the way. And recently, communications also have been an essential element of the information processing cycle. I hope you now have a clear definition and understanding of what computer is. In the next lesson, we will talk about components of computer systems. Mm -hmm.